Warning, this video contains footage of myself and Tubes butchering a deer. I appreciate that some people won't want to see this, so if it's likely to offend you, maybe give this video a miss and come back next time where I'll probably be going to a garden centre or something. So Peter the test tube baby and I really like sausages. But we don't know where they come from. Where do you think sausages come from, Peter? Woolworths. Wrong, Woolworths doesn't exist anymore. Uh, so what we've done is we've come down to our favourite local sausage mongers, Chart Farm near Seven Oaks, where James is going to teach us about sausages. Come on, James. Yeah. yeah let's go. First of all, what's this? So that's a, a deer, it's a seeker. Uh, from the deer park we have here. Um, we've been head shop, um, grollocks in the field where we tackle the in intestines out, keep the heart through those kidneys and then we um, bring we just take them all out in the field? Yeah, we have to, we keep the heart, liver and kidney yeah. and the stomach and the rest Chuck of everything it, else we have to yeah, just dispose what of. What is, what is, where do you use? Grolic. So grolic. you just literally get like a U-shaped knife and yeah. cut straight up when it's hanging. Bit of grolic, tubes are just <laughs> laid again. <laughs> then uh, we um, bring it to the fridge, hang it for seven to ten days and process it. Well, you guys are going to process it today. Process it. Let's get processing. Uh, Chips already says he knows it's a boy deer because he's suspected it's Anus, is that correct? Well, no, it just looks like it's had testicles. <laughs> <laughs> I was right, I was it's right. It's, right. A, it's a male, yeah. yeah. So that's it. I know, I know my. Well, why are you back sniffing back around house? the backside of a deer? We're going to be here five minutes. I've in, I've just said, what's that? James has gone into the deer. I've and I've just, gone, I'm just going to check well, out his arse. I'm just feeling its back and stuff and like. Smell from the back as well. Where are the way it's arched and stuff like this? Are you even a deer expert? <laughs> <laughs> So what's the first thing we have to do to make sausages? Well, we're gonna take the meat from the shoulders, the neck and the breast, but we'll break the whole deer down first of all. So we're gonna take the neck first. So you're gonna cut sort of from head to hip, straight through into a hip bone. <laughs> God, Pete, <laughs> cut up a deer. Cut down as he hit the bone. What, just like literally yeah, what? Literally, yeah, it's close, that's it. Mm. That's it, you hit the bone, let's pull that out now. That was all right, that. That was all right. You're right, you're right, you're right, mate. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We've got a saw yeah. through the bone here, yeah? Oh, Do you want to use as much of the saw as possible? Just use the one hand. Put your right hand here. Use as much of the saw as possible. Oh, my drone, seriously. Right. That's how we have to work. Yeah. And when you've gone through the bone, stop. That's it. Stop there. Oh, pull that out. And then just finish it off. Head and neck. Oh, they call me one cut Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, absolute techers. Woo! So this doesn't look like a sausage so yeah, far. No. Is there more work to be done? There is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Would you think that's just one big sausage? <laughs> yeah. I thought that's it. I thought that's it. So you're gonna take the shoulders off now. So that's Start it. up here? Yeah, a little bit further. Oh yeah, back there. That's, that's it, back there. Come to the edge yourself. And to there. So we put it apart. You cut through here, yeah. come towards yourself, and then you're going to cut the breast off, so around here, out to your neck, get the saw. With the saw? Yeah, oh. so you've got saw through, this is just like rib cage. Oh. Glide it. When you get into a rhythm, it's a lot easier. Yeah. The first Bones. card is the deepest. Come <laughs> on, Peter, you're nearly there. Dig so the deep. Finish him! Can you show me? Yeah, that's an expert. No, started, I might be able to do it. That's made you look so pathetic. <laughs> 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 that's like two seconds. I do that 20 minutes. Oh, what are you doing now? This, this is the neck. neck. So we're going to use that for the trim. So when you say the trim, what do you it's mean? It's uh, trimmings, so we're, we're not. What we're going to make the sausages out of, you're obviously not going to use like the back leg because right. that's the way you've got some, some quite, yeah, yeah. Some, some expensive meat in there. Yeah, Same right. as the saddle, which we took off, we're not going to use that. Um, yeah, we use sort of the, the off cuts. Always want to have a bit in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check in the meat in there. In here we've got rusk, 
which is right. like cereal. Uh, it's like a wheat. That's what babies have, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, parties. Um, we're going to put it to that. We need, it's got fennel in there, so we're making fennel, chilli, orange, oh. uh, venison sausages. Is that got a micro plate? It is indeed. Yeah. Good to see that knowledge. <laughs> we're getting the zest in, aren't we here? Yeah, the zest, and then we're going to do the juice as well. Huh? Chiefs, you're getting absolutely done over on the terminology, aren't you? Yeah. Using words like zest and microplane. There's the chilies going in, so there's just some fresh green chilies. Smells great, doesn't it? How many different flavours of sausages, sausages do you do? We've got on here eight, eight, and we do different ones every um, like once a week. We do like a speciality. Okay. So spice it up a bit. But these do you ever these make sus do you ever make sausages and they just don't work and they're disgusting? Yeah, we did a damsel one that didn't go down very well. Is that enough zest? Uh yeah, that should be. And then if you, you don't want to get too much into the pith. You cut Check out, out all the orange terms here. Yeah. Take the pith. You know, half time orange. Do you still get half time orange in football? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Arabo seems to be quite common now. Arrow sweet gel or wine gum. Just going in. Squeeze it into there. Squeeze the juice. Yeah. Okay, let's just shot this, Peter. Oh, jeez. I've gone rogue. I've gone rogue my juice. I have to use two handed. Oh, yeah, look at that. Shot. Shot that one out. Straight. This has got the salt and pepper. It's got a bit of sugar in as well. So, it's all for. It basically just lightens the sausage up a bit, right. helps it bind. So now you can you make sausage without that? You can, yeah, there'll be the gluten free ones. Here we go. Oh, yay, yeah. filthy. It's quite nice, actually, yeah. yeah. Mince it again. Mince again? Mince again. Double yeah. mince. Put that on the posters. Double mince sausage. So, so far we've done a lot of the sausage making process. We've cut up a deer, we've minced it, yeah. we've mixed it up with other stuff, we've minced it again, and now it's going in the sausage, sausage mixer? Machine. Sausage, sausage machine. machine. Yeah. Wow. So, what you want to do when you put it in, you need to give it a bit of a, you want to get the air out, so you want to sort of push it, pop it in there. Yeah. Why do you have to get the air out so there's no air in your sausage? Yeah, so you don't have Gaps and sausages and then give it a bit more What's pressure. What's that little slam dunk? Yeah, pretty oh. much. If you need a runner. Mine little, yeah? So yeah, just give it a bit of a throw down. Oh, slam dunk your sausage weave. It's a good bit of stuff to break a window. Stop here. Oh. <laughs> what a sound. I want to slam dunk some sausage meat. I feel left out. This is the actual making of the sausages. This is going to put the sausages in the sausage in skins. skins. Yeah. So what are sausage skins now? Natural casein, so it's sort of tested. So okay. Good, yeah. Tasty. They've been salted and we wash all the salt out and then... So there's them here. Oh, wow. You've got a little knee-powered sausage sheet. Stop. Do so stop. What we need to do first is get all the air out here. Because obviously you can't need to fill it up. Film, Pete? So I'm going to use my knee to tilt Turn on the sausage machine. I'm going to put my thumb over here and feel the air coming out. It's not constant, is it? It comes. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> wow! Okay, so. So the sausage machine started to come out now. Yeah. That was like a raw, caseless sausage. <laughs> it went rogue. Wow! Did you see that, Pete? Yes. How good was that? That comes at some velocity, doesn't it? How big is that sausage going? How big is this intestine? Well, you make one big sausage and then we link them, which is the very difficult thing. Or you just make one big sausage. <laughs> Sell it for a million pounds. So you tied a knot in that there. Yep. Double knot on the end. And then we're going to... Do you want me to do these first ones? Shall I go first? Because yeah. I think I'll... Yeah. I think I'm going to be pretty good at this. What we need to do, what you need to do, yeah. you need to bring up this end. You want to apply a little bit of pressure there. What, on the so, end or yeah, just like squeeze it very gently. Okay. But you need to keep it at a nice sausage thickness consistency. Okay. But it's set the speed okay. this morning. Pete, do you want to come around here so you can... You might want to come around that way maybe. So yeah, come you come around this side, Pete, so we get this. Where? Come around in the, in the hole. In the sausage hole. I think this is the bit that's most likely to go wrong. 
here. This is the actual production of the sausage. Uh, hand around it. Hand around it. Here we go. So I'm holding a bit pressure on really, that. Just a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure. Here we go. You, you really want to do it? It's one long one. Here Should we go. Keep it going. Mm -hmm. as... Oh, go, 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 go. Only go. want to do one long sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so good. A little bit less pressure. A little bit less pressure. On, on, on my hand. hand. Yeah, yeah. Except oh. 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 Sorry, I'm trying to... Um... Oh, this is... Those are some... That is such a buzz. That's one of the best things I've ever done. It feels quite nice, doesn't it? This is the linking process now um, that James is doing. It's quite hard to teach. I think he's not going to bother teaching no, us. Because it... Well, I don't... I'm well, really? It doesn't look, it does look quite hard. Um, Jesus, James is It's like plaiting hair, isn't it? Yeah. How long did it take you to learn how to do this? Honestly, quite yeah. a while. Yeah. Pinch together at the top. Pinch together at the top. That's it. And then feed it through, through the hole. Yeah, with pinching together now. So you pinch the other ones as well. Pinch these. Yeah. Okay. So you give it a little twist. Just make sure you don't split the skin. This is a. There we go. Ah, oh, split the skin. Split. Oh no. Sorry, it's not the end of the world. It feels like it is. Really? It feels like it might be. Look how well we done. I knew I should have had this responsibility. The face of the man who just split the skin. <laughs> So I split the sausage skin. You're not meant to do that. I'm not proud. James is fixing my error. How good is this? So this is a sausage I've made so far. Uh, they look pretty good. Venison, fennel, chili, chili orange. orange, sausages. You can buy these if you get very quickly down to Chart Farm. Limited edition sausages made by myself and tubes. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what price they are, but I think they're a bit dear. <laughs> you need a bit of dough. Oh, it doesn't work because it's a man deer, isn't it? It's a male deer. It's a good gag, isn't it? That was quite funny. It was very quickly, and there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Here you go, keep going. God, he's got, he's got it all tangled up. No, I haven't. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, oh, oh he's blown his load! load. <laughs> Blind me load! True, <laughs> oh, you got up so quickly. Yeah, I did well, though, didn't I? Yeah, that was a pretty good sausage. So here we are with Peter and I have made our sausages, and now it's time to, for the judging to see who's YouTube's greatest sausage maker. So, first of all, let's let's talk about mine because they're the best. Uh, how do you what do you say about them? Nice, nice and thick, nice, thick, solid, yeah. full as well. There's no loose skin, is there? No. I did split the skin at one point. Did have a splittage, didn't we? Yeah. So, was uh, that just bad luck or was it bad technique? Bad technique. A little bit too thick. That too thick. End, so they don't split. They're a nice meaty banger. What about Cheeves's anemic-looking sausages? Yeah, I mean, they almost look chipolata like that's, the, that's what I was going for. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, look at that, that big bulge of air there. Yeah, that's, big, that's, that's going to pop of... in the pan, isn't it? No, they'll start. They'll be yeah, all right. They're, 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 they're nice. I mean, it's a both a, a good effort for. But there can only be one, one winner. Who's the best? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> Yay! The undisputed <laughs> king of sausages, YouTube <laughs> sausage king. So my sausage is the most aesthetically pleasing, meat chunkiest, most beautiful sausage we've seen. So we've cooked some and we'll taste them and now see how great they are. What Over about, here. What about my sausages? Your sausages, we can put a couple of cheeses in as well, but they're not, they're not the best to be fair. So let's reveal the sausages. Oh, oh there's the cheeses ones at the back. Okay, so let's grab a bit of sausage each. Peter, here's some sausage for you. Thank you, Robert. I'll let you handle your own sausage, James. Let's be in Here we go. Oh. Really good. That is absolutely it's quite hot. That is absolutely sensational. Well good, isn't it? Yeah. Fennel's great, isn't it? Isn't it? A bit of fennel, a bit of orange, a little kick of chili. Yeah, yeah, they all get the, the chili a bit later on. So these limited edition sausages, people can actually buy them if they yeah. want. Yeah, um, so how long how long would you reckon it'll be till they sell out? Minutes? Yeah. So there you go, so act fast if you want to get yourself some of Mine and Cheeves' limited edition sausages. Are you going to be promoting them as that? I imagine not. No. no. <laughs> Just come down, ask for some sausage. If you ask, you might have some, some, yeah, some out the back for you. If you want to do a bit of butchering or, or um, sausage maker or anything, you do courses, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we do courses in the shop, so... Uh, so you can get down, down here down. and see if you, how yours compare uh, to our glorious things. It's a lovely farm shop, isn't it? Like there's some 
some wine, I can see there's some animal heads yeah. over there. Uh, some beer, meat, eggs, All coffee, meat. Yeah. lots of stuff, yeah. chopping yeah. boards. It is actually, yeah. it's top class. I've never seen a place like this, so I've got to be honest. Marvellous. It's really good. Really, really good. Us. Excellent. And they make bloody good sausages. <laughs> so, can we buy some of our sausages? Mm. Get that stuff. Oh. Thank you very much. Just to check this bag is the yeah. not cheapest ones, are they? No, no. Brilliant. Thanks for watching. Check out the link below. See about Chart Farm, the sausage making, and get yourself in the sausage making world. Chart Farm. Chart Farm. Not an ad. Gifted. <laughs>